It's Lee from Nintendo Review, bringing you the news on Wednesday, August the 1st, 2018. Mario Tennis Aces has been updated to 1.2.0 on Switch. There have been a load of changes, but most significant of these are it's now possible to retry a mission without returning to the world map after failing, and you can now retry a mission from the pause menu without quitting that mission, plus the inclusion of a six game set being playable, but only in the swing mode. Let's bring it to all modes, Nintendo, come on. Shantae Half Genie Hero has received a new free update. It includes an entirely new Jammies mode as well as a Blaster Master Zero transformation dance. Psionics have announced a retail release of Rocket League Ultimate Edition, containing the main game plus all the content from Rocket League Collector's Edition and additional DLC packs including Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice Car Pack, Chaos Run DLC Pack, DC Super Heroes DLC Pack, Revenge of Battle Cars DLC Pack, Supersonic Fury DLC Pack, Aftershock, Esper Marauder, Masomune, Proteus, Triton and the Vulcan DLC Battle Cars. It will be released in Europe on August the 31st with added switch tax. The Bring the Crunch DLC is out now for South Park The Fractured Butthole. This is free as part of the season pass. Jupiter is bringing its Picross S2 to Switch this very week, but just to prove that the 3DS is not dead, they've announced that Picross E9 will be releasing in Japan on August 8th. Expect it to come to the West soon. There's another new content update live in Fortnite. This time they're adding a limited time mode called Fly Explosives. In this mode only explosive weapons can be found and jetpacks are more plentiful and have more fuel. And hooray! The guided missile weapon is also back. Bandai Namco have announced that the latest Taiko no Tatsujin game will be released in Europe and North America on November 2nd, but only available in the Switch eShop in both regions. Donkey Kong Bongos are fully operational for in-game fun, making the news that the Hori Drum will not be releasing in the West slightly more palatable. Nintendo has announced its financial results for the first quarter of this fiscal year, covering the period from April through to June 2018. The Switch hardware sales are 19.67 million, the Switch software sales at 86.93 million. Nintendo's profits were up 42% year over year. And in more good news, Nintendo published its million sellers list on the Switch. Super Mario Odyssey stands at 11.17 million, Mario Kart 8 10.35 million, Zelda Breath of the Wild 9.32 million, Splatoon 2 has sold 6.76 million, 1 2 Switch 2.45 million, Arms 2.01 million, well done Arms, Kirby Star Allies 1.89 million, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 1.42 million, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze 1.40 million, and Mario 10 Tennis Aces in two weeks alone sold 1.38 million copies. And last but not least, Nintendo has detailed the content for Splatoon's August update. They are adding the Anko 5 games map, plus four new weapons, the Blah Blobber, Nautilus 47, Light, Light Tetra Duelies and the Custom Hydra Splatling. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out Nintendo Review's great content at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, podcasts on SoundCloud and iTunes and our website nintendoreview.co.uk.